incredible, incredible experience that um, I, I, one you never think you would necessarily have, um, being a beginner like I think I am. So uh, incredible, incredible experience, uh, amazing to hear uh, your words come off the page. Um, just invaluable. Yeah, I, I think I noticed that, that the narrator was speaking an awful lot. So I think maybe some scene description um, needs to be trimmed a little bit. I mean, I can tighten that up. Um, I also think uh, just a lot of, of word choice, I think, can change. Um, and uh, maybe we just need to get a little, get to the jokes a little faster, uh, keep it rolling, make everything a little tighter. Yeah, they all, all the actors did an amazing job. Um, I think uh, the character of Edmund actually really jumped out at me. Um, that guy went after it. He, and that, which, Edmund is which character? Edmund is, sorry, Edmund is the, the, uh, the doctor or the, um, the over-aggressive hunter, I guess we could call him. Um, but yeah, the, the actor who was playing him just, just went after it, gave it everything he had, and um, he nailed it. He nailed it. It was awesome. I would say if you have not had the opportunity to get a table read, um, you, you have no choice but to do so. It is, it is absolutely invaluable. So far, we, we, uh, we walked up and down Main Street a couple times, um, just kind of took it in, saw what was going on, um, had, some, had some excellent food, stayed in this incredible place um, that table read put us up at. Um, so we're just loving it, loving the weather, loving the, the pace. Uh, this is our first time. We've never been, so um, it's an excellent, incredible experience. This is the first screenplay that I've finished, um, you know, beginning to end. I would say it probably took roughly three months from start to finish. I, I started reading a lot of books. Uh, I did go to broadcast school, um, which, you know, had a, had a piece of, of screenwriting in it. Um, but for the most part, uh, honestly, I, I would say my Twitter feed has been my best friend for a long time. There's a lot of information. Uh, the screenwriting community is very tight-knit, very open, willing to share. There's a community of, of folks who, um, who just kind of get together at appointed times and um, every once in a while there'll be like a moderator and a special guest. And sometimes it'll be someone who focuses on the business side, sometimes it'll be focusing on more the creative side, and you can kind of just ask your questions and get, you know, all this invaluable information just right there on your, on your phone. I wasn't 100% sure that um, I was cut out for this. Um, this, I think, was, was a big affirmation for me, so um, I think I need to start looking a little harder at um, what, what the next business moves are, how to, how to get an agent, how to get a manager, uh, query letters, all that stuff that I've been ignoring until I actually finished a script. I probably need to start thinking a little harder about now. I think I heard about it first from the ISA newsletter. I feel like I get the email blast, okay. and every once in a while they'll list uh, all the different competitions. I do, I love the gigs email. That's uh, an incredible thing to have access to, to be able to get in your, in your inbox. So ISA sends out a, um, what they call a gigs email, and it basically uh, lists all the different either production companies or independent producers who are looking for either uh, folks for assignment or completed screenplays that you can send in and submit. Um, and they'll, they'll line it out by, you know, we have this kind of budget, we're looking for a comedy, we're looking for this, for that. Um, so you can really tailor, you know, your screenplay to fit those gigs.